What's up guys, thanks for tuning in to today's video. Me and my brother are headed to the Ford dealership right now. We're going to get some O-rings for the coolant crossover tube that sits on the 0304 Cobras, um, I guess as well as the Mach 1s and the 9901 Cobras. But we're trying to paint the coolant crossover tube, we're trying to paint the radiator tank, and we're trying to paint the intercooler expansion tank that's gonna go into the car. And while we were painting them and had them off, we decided might as well just replace the O-rings so there's no leaks. So we're gonna go to the dealership real quick. Maybe we'll see some cool cars there and then we'll show you all the freshly painted parts when we get back to the house. So we got the parts we needed, just a couple O-rings. Now we're gonna drive around and see if we can't see any cool Mustangs. Maybe they got a GT350 here or something. There's a Z28 Camaro. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's an old Mustang. That's pretty cool. There's a couple new ones right there. Don't see any. Holy, what is that thing? Ooh, got the oh, chef. yes. Well, that's pretty crazy if that's the only Mustangs they have. Maybe they've yeah. sold out. She's got a lineup of Raptors. Yeah. They got a lot of cool trucks here. That's awesome. Never seen so many of these Shelby yeah. trucks. That's they're selling out. Well, bye bye, dealership. Let's get back home and get these parts put on. Okay, so we're back at the house now and. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to be working on this car as it gets kind of dark right now The Sun is probably only gonna be out for another half hour. So it might make for a cool video because it'll be kind of nighttime, but Here's the freshly painted parts They are a flat black everything There's the expansion tank radiator tank crossover tube and one more part will be going on the car, but I'm not sure where it is. Like, heat exchanger, that thing. Okay, so we moved the car over a little bit just to give us a little bit more space to work right here to get the bumper off, as well as disconnecting the coolant lines right there with the intercooler pump. All right, so we're gonna start working on getting the heat exchanger put on the car. So first step here. The first step of installing an aftermarket heat exchanger is taking the trim pieces off, the headlights, and then unclip the bumper. If anybody has a super clean car and you're taking the headlights off, um, you know, maybe put some tape there or like a towel, it can help. But this car is pretty shitty, so yeah. we don't worry about that. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Golly. These clips right here on the side are notorious for breaking, so if they're not broken yet, they will be. Let's take a look at this heat exchanger I have right now. <laughs> thing is busted. Yeah. That definitely will be a problem. So you can see like the angle of holy crap. <laughs> you can see it's like freaking angled at like a 40 degree angle. Hopefully these brackets, we can bend them out straight. Maybe throw a little bit of paint on there. I'm not sure about that part though. Yeah, that would have to be re-welded on like this side. Next up, we gotta drain the coolant. So let's find a bucket and drain it. Well, now, what you wanna do is take this cap off. Get a little air in the lines. It should flush right out. Now we need to unbolt the heat exchanger and tilt it to get the rest of the coolant out. Twist this thing off. Then you want to do is turn the heat exchanger and pour the rest of the coolant out. 
just like this. And just like that, you have the old stock heat exchanger. I'd say this was a much needed upgrade. Holy crap, I hope we can fix these brackets. Super surprised I didn't have a leak on this. Heat exchanger's busted. Oh yeah, so much crap right there. Dang, yeah, that bracket is so mangled. Got the two bolts out. Every mechanic always has problems with these clips, but they look so much better than these. What the go. heck is that? There we go. And just twist. There you go. Supercharger, coolant reservoir off. On to the next step, which is I don't know. <laughs> so this doesn't apply if you're doing a aftermarket heat exchanger, but it does apply if you're changing out the coolant crossover tube. Mine right here has a dent in it. That's definitely not factory. Usually whenever you do that, the supercharger won't clear. The Whipple though clears it, but if you have a bigger Whipple or any other supercharger that doesn't clear, you have to dent it right there. I know the, um, some of the VMP ones you have to dent it on the other side, but I really don't want that dent there. So I just want maximum coolant flow. So that's why I got a new one, one of those. So the next step is drain the radiator coolant. We chose to take off the tube that's connected to the thermostat just because we just want to drain the coolant out of the radiator tank, not the radiator itself. A few moments later. Hey, that was only the easy stuff. We're going to have to take the idler pulleys off the belt and hopefully probably gonna have to drain coolant out of here. But first we're gonna take the pulleys off and the belt off. That thing is filthy. That thing is absolutely disgusting. We didn't show too much of that on film, but we got the two bolts that hold the coolant crossover in as well as these two. Um, there wasn't one on this side, but there wasn't one on that side. So there's four total. There's two nuts, two bolts. Um, we're gonna see if we can pop it off, leaving the supercharger on with the pulley. I think we're gonna have to take the pulley off though, but well, let's try we'll see. The AutoZone Pro match it. There it goes. Boom. Just need some leverage. There it is. Oh my God. Stuck right there. Oh, perfect. No pulley removal, no supercharger removal. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video. We might do a little bit more tonight. We might call it a night, work on it tomorrow, not sure, but this is probably gonna be a part one of two. So if y'all wanna see the final install, you'll have to wait till Sunday. That's when we will be uploading part two. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Please subscribe to the channel so I can do plenty of mods to this car. If y'all subscribe, I guarantee you I will get this car to a thousand horsepower. I guarantee